Good morning folks. I wanted to do a little update for you on the greenhouse and show you how things are doing out here. We need to get out here this morning. These tomatoes need to be pruned and we need to train them up to twine more. That is on our list to do today. But you can see they are all doing very well in the sand and sawdust that we grow them in. These plants are very strong. They have very thick stems. Very healthy plants. There goes a black soldier fly. Come back, come back. They do need to be pruned. And I'm going to do that after I'm done with this video. The tomatoes down here that do not have the twine are the tomatoes that we transplanted in the transplant and prune video. That was mm, two weeks ago. And you can see how much they've grown in those two weeks. They're doing very well. They're going to get pruned today, and we're also going to get the twines in and get them growing vertically. Okay, over here, cabbage. Cabbage also needs to be pruned. We're going to take two leaves off of each plant that will go in the house. That is a secondary edible, and we will eat those. Oh, we do have heads forming on some of these guys. You're looking good. Okay, a little bit further down are the broccoli plants. They also need to be pruned. We're going to eat some of these leaves. We do have heads that are forming on several of them. Not real big yet, but you get the idea. Our kale we eat off of every week is doing well. And I need to take some more leaves off of these guys too. Okay, over here are the pole beans. They are growing like mad now that we're getting a little bit of warm weather. Oh, there's a black soldier fly. Where are you at, guy? Come here. Did a video on our black soldier fly bin not too long ago. That's what the adults look like. Hello there. And I believe that one's a male. He's kind of little. The males are smaller and the females are bigger. Anyway, the green beans are doing well. We do have some blooms that are starting to come in. So we ought to see baby green beans here pretty soon. Over here is spaghetti squash. We are working on a little bit of a calcium deficiency. You can see some of the leaves looking a little deformed, but the newer leaves are looking good. I think that we've got the calcium problem licked and they're blooming and doing well. Oh, look at there. There's a little baby right there. The lettuce is getting too warm and it is going to seed. So these are going to come out today. And I'm going to put beets and a few other things that we're going to harvest the leaves off of for salads and smoothies. Those will go in soon. This is another batch of cabbage. I like cabbage quite a bit. Beyond it is spinach and then onions. Over here is where I'm going to put in some more melons and some more cucumbers in this vacant area in the box. And here are the peas. I'm behind on these peas. I need to get them better trained up to twine. But look at the stems on these guys. They are so healthy. They're doing so well. Look at that leaf. Again, this is grown in sand and sawdust. You can absolutely do this in your own soil. Please do not think that you have to grow a Mitletter garden in sand and sawdust. But they do this well because we give them all of the nutrients that they need. And they get three from the air, and the other 13 we give to them in the form of crushed rocks. Okay, there's your update. I'm going to get this shut down and get busy i'm behind in the greenhouse i've got a lot of work to do but there you go as always thanks for watching and if you have any comments or questions for us we'd love to try and answer them for you yes the little dog is telling me she wants outside thanks for watching and have a good day